all right people so welcome back to another video so today we're going to be using or making a slimline pen with a gunmetal uh, color and for this one i made it for my little brother it was a christmas gift from last year but i'm barely making the video because yeah i got a little lazy and didn't make the videos but yeah um because editing is kind of frustrating and tiring so i have the first six colors right here i taped them all together so that i know which colors he wanted and then you can see they're numbered all different colors different sizes and and then i have the other six over here he wanted this many i don't know why he wanted this many colors he just wanted it to be a unique pen and i was like i'll, I'll make it for you so yeah i got those 12 colors and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure all of them um i measured them I don't even know what I measured them at. I probably measured them at like half an inch. But I have to fit six colors on one piece of uh, the metal brass tubes. <clears throat> and then the other six on the other tube. Alright, so now let's get to measuring. So yeah, I did measure them at half an inch. Or a quarter of an inch. Um, so I did that to all of them. At first I marked them down just on the edge. So as you can see, they're all on the edge. So they're all marked out, all 12 pieces. So now I'm going to go with a straight edge and fully go across. So from there all the way to the other side, all the way around. If if not, I'm not gonna go all the way around. I'll just go like flat on one side. So I grab my caliper and I start, um, I use it as a straight edge. And a straight edge is basically so you can use it as a straight line and mark it all the way. So I got all 12 pieces marked out, as you can see, and now I got to cut them. So this part took quite a while since those 12 different pieces and they're different sizes. So it was a little frustrating on some of the pieces because they were smaller and I couldn't get a good grip on them with the clamp. And also the camera kept falling and like messing around and I was just like, really dude, but it's okay. I got through it. So the fun part about this was my arm was basically like really really tired after this because of how much cutting i had to do so yeah i'll just let you watch the rest of this time lapse of me cutting all these pieces but yeah All right, so as you can see right here, I have all 12 pieces, they're all cut out, and I have them all in the order that they go in, and I have the brass tubes laying next to them, so you can see how big or how long it's going to be. I have all of them laid out, and now it is time to sand them out, and here's a time lapse of me cleaning them up. So... I, me I flattened them out, I cleaned them up, and then I would measure them and mark them down to make sure that they were a quarter of an inch or inch and a half. I can't remember what I had said earlier. How I think it was half an inch. Not inch and a half, sorry. So, yeah, I went over all 12 pieces and I made sure that all of them were, were flat and they were all good. So I used the caliper to measure these, like the thickness of how thick they should be. So yeah, and these are all 12 
pieces and I use a caliper as you can see how it matches on there just to make sure that they're all the right size and the size they needed to be so yeah so now um, it's time to drill the holes and all the pieces so I did this one by one and when you put the drill bit on there you want to put the drill bit and then tighten up the chuck and then you grab your uh, chuck key tighten that up <clears throat> and you just start drilling but when you're drilling thin pieces like this you want to go slow because if you go too fast you can mess them up so I'm gonna drill all the holes in the center because if I were to stack them up onto each other they wouldn't really work so yeah I did all of these pieces and like by themselves singles because if I stack them up onto each other, how, how I was saying earlier, um, they won't come out straight. They'll come out sideways or they're different shapes and sizes, like like widths and everything. So they won't come out too good. They'll come out all weird. So it's better to do it one by one. So there you go. I have all 12 pieces already drilled. And now I can... Uh, use or i put that piece in the bottom so that it could hold it in because they were kept sliding down and i'm gonna use the the pen reamer to clean them up so that they're the, that so that they're flush so i did it to all of them because they needed it to be cut down a little bit more so that they could be at the right size so i put the chuck key in i put it to where it needed it to be i use that bottom you can see that bottom piece i used it as a guide so that it could um, get down onto it and like it wouldn't go all the way down because they kept falling all the way down and it kept messing it up so you see me cutting it i'm cutting it so that i can go the depth that it needs to be so that they can um all match together so on some of them, I cut them on, I think I did all of them. I cut all of them like that purposely so that I could see how deep I needed to go. I did it by hand because if not, I could have messed up on it. So all the little edge pieces, I had to sand all that off. So yeah, and then I used my little file. I cleaned all this up and man, I kind of regretted doing that because my wrist hurt so much after this. And I used both my hands, so like both my wrists were like dying. And it, I did all 12 pieces, and it was kind of a lot to go down. So, yeah, it took quite a while. I had to do all the pieces, and it kind of sucked. Some of them I did fast because they didn't need too much, like, material moved. And then others, they took quite a while because it was a lot. Like, it was pretty thick. From the little ring that the the drill the <clears throat> the pen reamer left, so you can see I'm using the pliers because my finger started hurting, and I almost like sanded my finger off a few times or like with a file, because I was holding on to it and it kind of hurt. So I let it go and I was like, all right, let me just use my pliers. So on some of them I used the pliers and then I went back and forth to the pliers and to my hands. So. Yeah, this is quite a quite a long time lapse. There's like 12 different ones, or I don't even know how many I put on the time lapse, but I know there's a lot. And I did every single piece like this, and it took forever. This pen probably took, like the whole process of this pen took about maybe three or four hours to make. Like all together, because I made this pen or this pen in a span of like a few months because I would go and like do a piece. Like I chose the colors and the kit and then I left it alone. I was like, I'll get to it. And then a few months passed and then I finally got back to it. So, and this is what, what I was um, at after those two months. So now you have all 12 colors are all lined up and yeah, they look a little weird. That's what, as you can see, how they're different sizes. And now I glue them. And when I glued them, I put quite a bit of glue on there purposely so that um, they could get stuck. 
and yeah this was a pretty cool um process and this is the most colors i've ever done on any pin that i have ever made so now i went over to the drill press and i had to clean off the edges because the edges were kind of um they were a little high off the tube so i had to flush them down to like with the tube and there it was kind of weird using it because the the piece of acrylic were all different shapes so they didn't really grab too well so yeah it was a little weird <clears throat> but uh I, I adapted to the pen that i was doing so yeah each pen is a challenge so yeah so now i am getting them ready to put them on the mandrel and getting ready to turn these pen blinks so the first thing i'll do is i'll take that off i'll take off my bushings i'll slide it on there and sometimes you have a hard time sliding it on there because they're a little tight i don't know it's kind of weird some of them they slide on real easy and then there's others that they kind of they're kind of rough to push onto there so yeah it, you you learn as you go basically so yeah each pen is different there's some that slide on how i said really good smooth and then there's others that you have to go back and like mess with it and keep trying to shove it on there but the bad thing about that is, is if you try and shove it on there uh you could mess up the mandrel and that that wouldn't be good or you can bend it and that's not good so i set up my tool rest and i got ready to go i got my um recon chisel and i started carving them up started cutting into it as you can see and on the edges it's kind of weird because they like overlap onto the as you can see like if you look at the purple one side looks really light and the other side looks dark and that is because it's a little bit longer so you saw that i cut it and you'll see me cut the edges right there i'm cutting it right there and there and i do that because they get overlapped over the bushings and that's not good i don't need that so <clears throat> now I start cutting into it, start cleaning it up, making sure that it is all good to go. And little by little, it's good. But it was kind of weird because there were like different um, pieces of acrylic, so they all had different feels. I had to go slow on some, fast, and like you just had to adapt to it because they're all different ones. So it's kind of weird because how I said they're all different pieces of acrylic. So yeah, each each acrylic is different. There's like, there's resin, there's acrylic, there's two part epoxy. Um, there's a whole bunch that 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 were on there, and there's some that are really soft, and then some that are hard, and then some that are brittle, or that are like delicate. So you see me putting glue. I put glue in between them because it was little gaps. So I'll put glue, let it dry. I let it sit for about five minutes and then I'll get back to it. And then you'll see me, I'll clean them up again. And then I'll have to go back and put more glue on them just to check it. Cause the glue um, is what holds it together. So yeah, and yeah, here and there I would put glue on it, but that was the only part that I had to put glue on it because um, I didn't need it anymore. So now I'm finally cleaning, cleaning them up. And I start to wet sand it. I use my, um, what is it called? Sanding sponge or the block. I forgot what it's called, man. Um, sanding block or whatever. I don't know. Okay, yeah. So I start cleaning it up. I that's what I usually do. I'll start off with the sanding block or whatever it's called, and then I'll start with the micro mesh. It goes from uh one thousand five hundred grits to twelve thousand. So it goes from like a rough to like a really fine. So that makes it really, really pretty. And that's how you polish it. And when you polish it, you use a, it's, it kind of looks, kind of looks weird. It's like a brownish color. It, it's for, um, so you can polish and it takes out the scratches and all that. So here's my pen press. 
and now we are getting ready to assemble the pen so this one is going to be a chrome it's just a regular twist pen some of the pens that I started off with when I first started learning how to make pens and yeah so I get all the pieces out and I get to start or I get yeah I start putting it together but usually before I put it together I always put it on the side and I always have that cloth on the bottom so that the pen doesn't get scratched or I don't scratch the pieces of it so yeah so now I am getting ready to assemble it. So I grab, I don't know if that's the back piece or the front piece, or oh, it's the front piece, all right. So now I grab my front piece and yeah. So now you're gonna put the tip of it towards the white piece. It has like a little hole in there so that it doesn't mess it up. Cause if you do it the other way, you can bend it and you'll mess it up or you can scratch it. So now I'm putting it on there. So when you do this, you want to be careful because if it goes in at an angle, it can break the acrylic and it'll mess it up. And I zoomed in per purposely so that you can see how it, how it goes in. So now that you see that the pieces are flush on like the acrylic and the metal are flush together, then you're good to go. So now you have your mechanism that actually is the piece that makes the pen twist and this is that gold and silver piece that that's the the mechanism so you want to go to that little line right there after the gold so I'll zoom in on it so that you can see and when you're doing this the same thing you want to make sure that it's straight because if it's angled it can break the pen and you don't need that see how it starts lifting and I push it down I do that so that it straightens out and you go to that little line and then you stop because if you go further than that um it won't be good so you see i went to that little line there's a close-up of it and now we slide the little ring onto it so there's a little ring slide it on it's kind of kind of hard it has like a tight fit so now is um I'll put the ink cartridge inside and that's the part that makes it twist if you put it too far in it makes a pen stick out and that's not good so now it's the back piece and <clears throat> yeah you see how I'm messing with it see if it's good so now the back piece you have your clip and your little end cap that you have to put on some of the pens that I've made, I won't put them on there. Like I made this bishop pen, like a chest piece, and I didn't put it on there because the back was too thick. So yeah, I also made like, these snowmen and Christmas trees. And the same thing, you want, um, so when you put them on there, you want the pieces of metal to be flush all the way onto the, to the acrylic. And this is the finished product, even though it took me so long to finally complete it i was so happy with how it came out and these pens look really cool on the videos but in person they're a lot better you can see the detail on the pens and don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram at ricky turner 18